Hi friends, today we'll be talking about the initial velocity equation derivation in the presence of a typical non-competitive inhibitor. A typical non-competitive inhibitor, its binding on the surface of the enzyme is completely independent on the binding of the enzyme to the substrate. So, a typical non-competitive inhibitor can bind either to the free enzyme, that is, it can bind with E with to form a EI complex. Similarly, a typical non-competitive inhibitor can also bind to the ES complex. So, there it will be ES combining with I to form a ESI complex. Similarly, if the inhibitor has first bound to the enzyme, substrate can again bind to this EI complex, again resulting in the formation of ESI complex. To conclude, we can say that binding of a typical non-competitive inhibitor does not hamper or alter in any ways the affinity of the enzyme towards the substrate as it can bind the free enzyme or the bound enzyme that is the E or the ES complex. So therefore, this inhibitor does not affect the value of K. So in the presence of non-competitive inhibitor, the value of K, it remains constant. Whereas the value of Vmax, it is decreased. It is decreased by the value of 1 plus I upon Ki. So we have altered value of Vmax, that is V dash max or V prime max is equal to Vmax upon 1 plus I upon Ki. So the final equation which we get is V0 is equal to Vmax upon 1 plus I upon Ki into S whole upon Km plus S. Let's have a look into the derivation of this equation. The general equation in the presence of non-competitive inhibitor is given by under steady state conditions the rate of formation of ES equals the rate of breakdown of ES. We have K1 into E into S is equal to K-1 plus K2 whole bracket into ES. Taking constants to one side we have E into S upon ES is equal to K-1 plus K2 upon K1. Defining Km from this we have Km is equal to E into S upon ES. The dissociation constant for EI is given as Ki is equal to E into I upon EI. From this EI is equal to E into I upon Ki. The dissociation constant for ESI is Ki is equal to ES into I upon ESI. From this ESI is equal to ES into I upon Ki. The total enzyme E0 is equal to E plus ES plus EI plus ESI which is equal to E plus ES plus E into I upon Ki plus ES into I upon Ki. Now taking the term E common from the two terms and ES from the other two we have E into bracket 1 plus I upon Ki plus ES into bracket 1 plus I upon Ki. Taking 1 plus i upon ki common from these two terms, we have 1 plus i upon ki whole bracket into E plus ES. Now from this we have E plus ES is equal to E0 upon 1 plus i upon ki. Calculating E from this we have E is equal to E0 upon 1 plus i upon ki minus ES. Substituting this value of E in the value for Km we have E0 upon 1 plus i upon ki minus ES whole bracket into S upon ES is equal to Km. Cross multiplying and opening the bracket and taking the terms to the right hand side we have E0 into S upon 1 plus I upon Ki is equal to Km into ES plus ES into S. Taking ES common we have is equal to ES into bracket Km plus S. Calculating the value of ES from this we have ES is equal to E0 upon 1 plus I upon Ki into bracket Km plus S. Defining V0, we have V0 is equal to K2 into ES. Substituting the above value of ES, we have V0 is equal to K2 into E0 into S upon 1 plus I upon Ki into bracket Km plus S. Defining Vmax as Vmax is equal to K2 into E0, we have V0 is equal to Vmax upon 1 plus I upon Ki into S upon Km plus S. So we have the altered value of Vmax represented as V dash max where V0 is equal to V dash max or V prime max into S upon Km plus S. 
comparing it with the normal michaelis menten equation we deduce that the only the value of v max it has changed whereas the value of km it has remained the same graphically representing the effect of non competitive inhibitor again it is clear that the value of v max it decreases whereas the value of km remains constant thank you